Bone Joke Vlog. Just added to Hulu Plus, I watched Titan. That is French for titanium. I believe this movie came out just last year. Has people whose names I don't remember or remember how to pronounce, so we're going to avoid that as much as possible. Pretty disappointed with this movie. I feel like there's a bit of a bait and switch with the trailer. And I actually, for the most part, liked Raw, the previous film from this uh, female director from France. I kind of feel like this movie was self-indulgent. It went off the rails. And whenever things don't make sense in a movie, you kind of get the feeling that this is the power trip of a director gun. Uh, power hungry, power mad. Now they're making a movie for themselves. Viewer be damned, really. So you got this gal, Alexia. Little girl, messing around the backseat of the car, not wearing her seatbelt. Dad gets in a wreck. Has to have a titanium plate put in her head. Simple enough. Does this affect her mood or her behavior? We're kind of led to believe now she has some fascination with metal. As she gets older, she becomes a model in her 30s for car shows, dancing on car hoods, shaking her butt. I kind of thought that this would have more to do with car culture. Instead, she's completely unlikable psychopath, is what this really comes down to. Kills a guy who forcibly kissed her. Oh, but that's understandable. He was, he was in the wrong. Okay, fine. What about the girl that's trying to make good with her? You have a little girl and girl scene. She's like biting her nipple off. It's, it's, this is in the vein of body horror slash thriller that kind of started with wetlands for, for female body horror. You also see it in the Neon Demon. You got some of this in Raw. But I feel like that's where some of this movie is. She then decides it would be a good idea to gyrate and have sex with a Cadillac. And it impregnates her. Problem with this. This Cadillac does not have a center console to contain a stick shift, any kind of gear shift, or a handbrake lever. This actually falls apart if you know anything about cars. You know, our protagonist here is not done being completely hateable. Kills like a whole ton of people in this flop house who are just oblivious to what she's doing. Burns down her parents' house. And it's like, okay, is that enough? No, we have to lock the door on them too. I'm gonna try to run fast here because there's a family sitting around. And uh, so she, she's wanted for these crimes, but the police are so dumb, they don't seem to realize that the biggest giveaway trait she has is a giant scar where the plate in her head is. Nobody's looking for that. They're looking for a, a lanky girl with a haircut. What the hell? She actually cuts her hair down, dyes it black, and tries to go Hispanic. Pretends to be a runaway boy uh, so that she can get taken in by the family. The dad's firefighter chief. He buys into this illusion because he wants to think his boy's home. Tells her, hey, you're my little boy still, whatever. She wants to run away, but she slowly grows into this bond about this. And I think some of the appeal for the critics and maybe the the fans of this film are that it's trans. It's trans body. It's not trans. She was duping a guy. She doesn't become a male. She's pregnant and giving birth to a giant sphere from all it looks like. Actually, her whole body becomes titanium underneath the skin. So it appears. There's actually a guy does his due diligence in this film. Says, hey, I need to talk to you about your son, you know, her. To the chief. Chief actually has him killed in the middle of a forest fire. Breaks open a, a caravan, as they call it. Takes out a propane tank, tells them to hold this, blows them up. It shows you the dedication this guy has. If anybody's going to be praised for their acting in this movie, it shouldn't be our car model. It should be the firefighter with the steroid addiction. And they actually bond in some degree. The biological mom shows up, immediately sees through this, sees she has boobs and a pregnant belly, and says, hey, you keep lying, but just take care of this guy. He needs this, right? And things ain't going too bad for him. Even though there's weird homoerotic firefighter action in this movie, they have to have parties with no women. This is sus, as the kids say. But, uh, yeah, everything is going okay as far as the scheme of getting away with these murders. 
until she has the baby. And as she's dying, having the kid, who she clearly can't get out of her system, but they fudge it anyway, firefighter dad shows up, accepts that she's actually named Alexia, and uh, delivers the kid, who may as well be a Terminator. All right, human skin over metal endoskeleton, and that's your movie. It's just a mess. I kind of think we could have got on board with the character if she wasn't a killer. I kind of think that the car sex thing was to get media attention. That this couldn't just be a simple movie. Oh, it would just be another movie where somebody's posing as a runaway kid that they're not. No, we have to have these other elements into it to get attention. Check some boxes. Titan's pretty disappointing if you can look past uh, some of the glamorous uh, camera work wherein it does exist. I give Titan one and a half out of four stars. If you appreciate a YouTube channel that doesn't just pad out content to get to the eight minute mark so that it can hammer you with ad breaks, then you should subscribe to my son's channel. You just got done watching it.